Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 10th of October 2023, a late night game just before I head off to bed uh, of the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle Sudoku, um, Sudoku Puzzle. Um, a regular for this channel uh, if you're new to the channel it's one that we generally play when we have enough time which is most days of the week not every day though um what's going on i see uh, an article in the guardian stating that approximately between two and three thousand orangutans are being killed each year uh, for various reasons sometimes just from fear of the local fear from the local villagers or or that they are um worried that they are you know stealing their plants crops and stuff like that but it's an obscene thing isn't it could you imagine i mean the thing is of course all species are valuable uh you know cockroaches as much as we hate them <laughs> have their value in the ecosystem and uh, are necessary for the planet's ecosystem to exist properly um you know species are interdependent of course um but the um, orangutan is so similar to humans uh, in, in its physical appearance. I mean, you know, when you see orang orangutans, you just can sympathize, empathize with them and uh, feel like we know that they, we, we kind of give, we anthropomorphize, I can't say that word, <laughs> you know what I mean, give them human characters, right? Uh, even characteristics even though of course they are not human uh, but just their physical appearance being so similar to humans I think is uh, something that is it make, makes it quite obscene to be killing the things um, I, I, I find that quite um, difficult to uh, understand really how people could be killing orangutans um, but then again we have wars, don't we, where people, humans are killing humans in extremely large numbers as well. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised, really. Anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku before I fall asleep. It's getting quite late here now. Start with the lucky seven. Pointing over like this, that will give me a seven. Yeah, there. Are we stuck already? Hmm. All right, let's have a quick look through then. <clears throat> ah, three across there. Uh, okay, so this five obviously blocks those squares, five blocking here, um, which would leave two options there, but we've got five blocking across here, so five, five has to be, I can't speak this evening, in one of those two squares blocking down here, that will give me a five there. I just noticed over here 259, but 259 in different columns. That's not going to do much, is it? Okay, let's keep looking uh, on a around the clock basis first before we look for other things.
So we have one and five up here and one and five across here. So that's going to put one and five into those squares. Um, how else? What else do we know? Uh, do we know about the two? Uh, what did I say? One five. Yes. Okay. So we've got eight blocking across here then. So that's going to be an eight. This is one five. So this must be two, three, four. And we've got two and three in the same column. So that is going to be a four then. So four up here, four up here and four across there. We'll place a four there. Uh, and two and three here. Let's see, twos. Ah, okay, two is one of our missing digits here, right? Blocking across here. This can't be two. When we follow the patterns for the twos, we can see that is going to be a two. And we will have two there, two there. So that means we have to have two there. Uh, <laughs> and since two blocks here, and two blocks here, that is going to be a two. That's quite nice. Now I said three is in one of these squares. Does that do anything much? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. We have five down here, five across here. We can place a five there and five across here and there. So there's our five and then one across here will give us the one there. As mentioned previously, one's block up here then. So there's our one at the bottom here. We're looking for uh, na -na 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 nine, isn't it? I think it is. OK, we also can see the nine blocking up there, which will give us nine in that square, nine across here and nine across there, there's our nine. <clears throat> nine blocking down here and nine across here puts nine into one of those squares blocking up there. That leaves only that possibility. Our three blocks like so. Which means that, okay, three can't be in this square, so three has to be in one of those squares. Right? So can't be here. And then we've got three blocking this square and this square, so that must be a three. Uh, twos. I'm sure I've got something with the twos. Now let me check again. Two. We've got two up here, uh, two here, two there. So two has to be in one of these two squares, right? On this shoot on the right hand side. But two is one of our missing digits here. So this can't be two. That must be our two. Missing numbers across here, three, seven, nine, three and seven in the same column. That's going to be a nine. 
nine down here, nine down there, nine across there. There's a nine. Nine this way, nine that way, nine down here. There's a nine we can place. Hmm. Of course, three blocking this square here. We don't have three in this column yet. Let's put the three there. And this was a two, wasn't it? Two blocking down here. That's got to be a two. The missing number here, five. Five across here, like so, with a couple going up. And there we go with the five. Uh, five and nine are done. Everything else to play for. I think I'm going to go through one at a time and see what we can see. Ah, we can finish off the twos now because we've got two here and then two up like so. That's the last two. Three blocking up here and three across here puts three into one of those two squares blocking up. We'll give us a three there. Uh, okay, now the 8 blocking up here puts 8 into one of these two squares, and the 3 blocking here, actually we know where the 3 goes, that's a 3, isn't it? So uh, the eight, 3 and 8 block across here like this, so that means that's 3 and 8. In fact, it can't be 3, that's going to be 3, that's going to be 8, and this is going to be whatever the other number is, and I've forgotten it's a 6. Okay, 6 blocking across here will give us... 6 in that square, 1 blocking up here means that's a 1, the last number to place here is an 8, 8's all the way down, 8 across here, there's our 8. One more number to go here, what are you, reveal yourself, come on, come on, you're a 4. Um, we also have 4 to finish this row at the top. And we take fours to the bottom like so. We can get rid of the digit altogether. Go away now, four. Come back tomorrow. One across here. There's a one. One blocking down here. One up there. There's a digit one. Uh, one down here. That's one done. One, two, four, five, nine done. Um... Where are we? Where are we? Eight blocks up here. That will give me an eight in that square. Eight down here and across here gives us eight there. And the last number to place here is a six. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Six there, six down there. There's the six. Six across there. There's the six. Last number two place here is a seven. We still need a seven in that block there. Seven across will give us seven that way. Seven here, seven there, seven in. Uh, we need a three here. Three blocking across gives us a three there and a six goes there. That's our Los Angeles Times expert level game for a Tuesday. I'll be back tomorrow with more Sudoku uh, for you. See you around. Bye-bye.